I tested more than 100 plugins and I've created a list of the best ones that are useful, work properly and are convenient to use. All plugins are unique in some ways, providing something new out of the box and making things interesting, whether it's a smart feature, a cool design or an element that can't be found in most of other plugins. I found plugins are not that popular to not give you the same plugins as everybody else does, but to bring some less popular but still good ones to the table instead. With other plugins there was either something wrong with their functionality, they weren't working properly, the interface was unintuitive or the sound was not satisfying enough. This list consists of plugins that I would normally say are paid premium ones if I didn't know that they are all actually free. The first plugin is going to be Ruina by Noise Engineering. This is a very interesting distortion plugin that can turn a sound like this into this. It gives you a very interesting sound that mostly is not findable in other distortion plugins. You start at 50% of the mix. Let's go to 100%. You get a very harsh sound, so you bring the octavize down. Oh it, oh, it sounds so good already. What's cool in this plugin is this Doom feature. Hell yes. Okay, so now we have a very weird plugin and it is coming from Freak Show Industries. You may know this company already because they make these very scary plugins and you can just go to their website, all of them, you can just click on steal, click one of the reasons, like I don't give a fuck, and then just steal, put the credentials and they make these really weird plugins that give you really spooky, weird effects. And this one allows you to fly an UFO throughout these mid journey photos. So this is without and, I'm over. and this is with. And So weird. So if you're wondering what these functions do, you can click this eye and you can see, but don't expect too much. This is not gonna tell you what it does. It softens the jagged edges of your experience with the comforting simulation of familiar acoustics. You're not supposed to know what these do, but you can get a taste if you just spin them. And I'm it becomes kind of like more chaotic. This one's like this yawing kind of sound. So here's something like this, and it's those are the shapes that this is going to fly through. So let's get some weird shape like this and adjust the depth. Once you choose a shape, you can map it into all these knobs simply by clicking like this. Very weird stuff. Their new plugin coming up, Dick Smasher. It's gonna be very interesting. I'm instantly getting in. Now, if you thought that those were all the weird plugins that I have for you, no, because the next three ones are gonna be weird as well. They're kind of funny too. It keeps following my mouse. <laughs> okay, so Crumble is a delay plugin. And I'm all and I'm all Sounds nice. It has this kind of distortion kind of deal to it. It has also a pitch function, so you can pitch all these delays plus and one octave, for example. You can reverse them. And you can do more like a granular stuff, plus 24. You can chew them. So the next plugin is this Prisma, which is a distortion plugin, and this allows you to do multi-band distortion with a lot of different distortion types. Again, an interesting design. And I'm over, and I'm over. You can put different distortions on different bands, like this, for example. You can increase the gain here. That sounds good. Make this one hard clipped. And I'm over. You can stack distortion types. A little bit crusher, then maybe add some. I know it's just standard soft clipping. Make it like saucy. And then at the end, let's try maybe asymmetrical. Maybe like that. So you can get really interesting distortion effects out of this. So next one is going to be the red bass, but I need a different sound for this. This red bass boosts the low and makes it sound very like powerful and punchy. It's 
great for making bases, it's just great. <laughs> it's handmade. <laughs> now it's going to be a very nice utility plugin. I hope it's gonna blow your mind because it blew mine when I discovered it and when I started using it. This is for clearing up the voice from the unnecessary ambient noise and from unnecessary reverb and it does this in a really nice way. It's one of those AI powered effects and it's so precise and it's so quick. It doesn't require like much CPU power, so check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's so noisy here. But the breeze coming from the sea is so nice. As you can hear, there's a noise in the background, so we can isolate this as an ambience. That's the noise in the background, and we can isolate, see what the reverb layer is. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's so noisy here. Once we bring this down here, but the breeze coming from the sea is so... And the reverb here. But the breeze coming from the sea it just deletes the, the noise so here but the breeze coming from the sea is so nice now the noise is going to be louder check this out ladies and gentlemen i'm about to fall from a big building ladies and gentlemen i'm about to fall from a big building please someone catch me it just deleted the noise and here's even more extreme example ah ladies and gentlemen i'm falling help Help, catch me someone. If this doesn't blow your mind, I don't know what will. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm falling. Help, help, catch me someone. Can you hear this? There's no noise. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, I'm falling. Help, help, catch me someone. And here's an example of the reverb. Oh my God, this room has so much reverb. This is a reverb layer without. Oh my God, this room has so much reverb. And with. Oh my God, this room has so much reverb. I can feel the reflections hitting my face. Ah, ah, ah. This is just so good. Okay, so this is going to be a very interesting plugin. It utilizes AI and allows you to turn sounds into different sounds using machine learning. It may be a little bit clunky because it's like still in development a little bit. So you have these different models trained on different data. For example, DDSP X Violin will allow you to turn this sound into a violin. We could argue whether that sounds like a real violin or not, but definitely it changes the sound in a really interesting way. It's really cool because people are doing these different models. They're just putting them here for you to download. Bulgarian female choir. Hi, 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 hi. See that? I've been a professional choir singer at some point in my life. I don't remember when, but I know I was. <laughs> you can get some cool stuff out of this. You gotta be a little bit lucky and uh, spend some time tweaking these settings to find it actually something cool. Check out this choir. <laughs> Let's see the megalot on this has to be banging. You know what? Let's go. I'm sorry if I scared you. Oh, cool. Now we have another cool plugin. It's going to be placed by Soundly. And this allows you to use like a speaker emulation, radio, TV to kind of like preview what the sound will be on those. It's not really 100% accurate, but it kind of sounds cool. And then you can place any sound in like a bathroom, living room, public places, vehicle, outdoors. There's a lot of different places, which is really cool that kind of emulate the sound of them. And you can put your instruments, your sounds in these spaces and kind of simulate them. Put it in a space of a living room, cave. So then let's say we're gonna go into the radio speakers. Radio speaker in a cave and there's gonna be a wall between them. The 
the Almighty. Hell yes. Megaphone outdoor. It even simulates this distortion of the megaphone. So it's not only a filter, but it's more than that. Oh, wait, we need to do a car test of my of my EP. Hold on a second. Okay, let's imagine that I released this song, which I did, and my neighbor is listening to it on on the radio because it is gonna be playing on the radio, right? Of course. That's what it's gonna sound like. Behind the wall. Imagine my neighbor's listening right now. He's not stopping, so I guess he's enjoying it. Neighbor's TV. But what we really want to hear is a radio in a car. Nope, nope, that's not what we want to hear. Boombox in a car. In a sedan. Or in the van. I guess it kind of works. Now this is going to be really a really useful plugin as a utility. This is called a Minimeter. You need to download a Minimeter server and you need to download a Minimeters app. So what it allows you to do is to simply display a waveform of what's coming out of the uh, Minimeter server. So you can put this on the master, you can put this on a truck and then run a Minimeters app. This is going to display demo versions. So you gotta go into settings and you pop out this module or this one. And it's going to give you this module without anything. And it's just going to be the waveform and you click pin to top so it can stay over your DAW. And then you play and then it's going to show the waveform of a current track. Again, you can put it on the master and it's going to play back whatever is going out of the master. Like that. Big building, please someone catch me. It's very nice to be able to see the waveform of what you're working on. This is going to be a very cool plugin. It kind of blew my mind because it's a free one, but it gives you so much information and it is looking so good. This is an APU loudness meter and it allows you to measure loudness, but also show you this kind of waveform of the sound. It shows you LUFS and what I like about it is there's so much customization options. Like you can go into visualization and you can increase its bucket size, offset it to be 3D. It's nice so that you can visualize what you're playing and then you can go and go to theme and you can even change colors to literally whatever you want. It also shows you how many LUFS you have here. And LUFS are very useful because they give you like a perceived loudness. All of these songs get incrementally quieter and I had to equal the volume down and I I went for minus nine LEFS. This is gonna be super loud. This one's kind of quieter. This one's quieter, and then this one is the quietest. So the volume has to be made equal. For people on SoundCloud to be able to listen to this EP without like drastic changes in volume between tracks. I wasn't really trusting Spotify because it not always does this volume normalization in a pretty good way. So I just equaled it out to minus nine LUFS and I was using this APU loudness meter. I just put all the tracks in the DAW and I was looking, playing by and looking, okay, how many LUFS? I was aiming at like average minus nine point, like up to like 0.3. Now we're gonna have something for vocals, for doubling the vocals. And this is a really nice kind of like chorus effect without don't hold me down and with don't hold me down don't don't it sounds very nice and if we check it in mono don't hold me down don't hold don't hold don't hold, don't hold me down it sounds nice too that's why i like it even if we double this don't hold me down don't it sounds very good in mono don't hold me and in down. stereo don't hold don't hold me don't hold there's a bigger delay that you can assign. If you want, I went with like 20%. It makes it wider without introducing too many like hits between the stereo speakers. So, and then another one, that's the same one. There's less amount. So this one is 100%, this one is 44. Don't hold 
and then delay is bigger because I want it to this hit first and then the second one have a little bit offset so it like hits second after that. Don't. Don't. Otherwise, I'm just doubling. Don't. Sounds good. Very nice, very simple and free. Now, another utility plugin. If you need an LFO, you can use Flux Mini 2. It allows you to shape the volume repeatedly with an LFO and also use a cutoff automation like a low pass. It sounds like this. Even lasers! Gonna have a sidechain here, double it. Slow it down. Hell yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. Hope you found it useful. Hope you discovered some cool new plugins. Let me know what you think in the comments. You will find the links to these plugins in the description. Check out over sample.us to get some fresh sounds, presets, and free stuff is there. One more promo, check out the Disturbance EP. I'm going to release it in three days. Also link in the description. Have a great day and see you soon.